What is up everybody, it is Saints Fan, and today I am going to be going over Iron Golems, a new T12 mob, and basically what they are, you know, what they do, what their sort of characteristics are, and how you make them. So, basically all you need is iron blocks and pumpkins, and as you see right here, you make a little T, and then you put an iron, or the pumpkin head on top, and it works with glowstone, the, the, the you know, the jack-o'-lanterns, same way comes out the same so you don't need to worry about that but anyway these guys were actually put into the game for protection and besides the ender dragon and the wither boss which actually we don't have in xbox yet these guys have the most amount of health of any mob and as you see right here these guys mean business they go after pretty much any mob except for creepers they do not go after creepers and i'm not really sure why but they don't go after creepers uh, they actually go, they pretty much go after any mob that tries to attack villagers. Um, one thing that I do want to mention is if they start to attack Endermen, Endermen could be a little bit tougher of a challenge as you see, just take out that freaking cave spider. They take him out one hit. And actually before I get back into the Endermen, I just want to say, uh, they actually sometimes pick up roses and I don't know why. I think it's because they show their affection for villagers and they try to hand them to the villagers. Now, obviously the villagers can't take them, but... It's pretty pretty funny just to see it. But anyway, back to the Endermen. So the reason Endermen may be a little bit tougher of a challenge is because Endermen actually have increased health as well. And they can teleport. So an Enderman may be, you know, a little bit tougher of a challenge. Although, you'll see later, when I try to kill the Iron Golem, it takes me forever. And I had a Diamond Sword, so... As you see right there, they don't go after Creepers. But we're going to go into Nighttime and basically show what these guys are, where they shine at. So, Iron Golems, as you saw, you can build them, or they spawn naturally in NPC villages. Now, the way it works is, I think it's the amount of doors, because it's the amount of houses and amount of people in there, and there's some sort of equation so they can spawn. I spawn these guys in right here, but uh, in one of the videos that I'm putting up today, you'll actually see that they spawn uh, by themselves. But anyway, as you see right here, they pretty much just wander around. They're not even they're not even gonna attack you if you start to attack it. So right here, as you see, I'ma hit it like 20 different like 20 times, maybe more. And finally it dies. And as you see right there, it drops some iron ingots and a rose. Now, I'm actually later this week gonna be doing an iron golem farm. So you can get like unlimited amount of iron. So if you have if you want to see that, subscribe so you don't miss that. But anyway, they pretty much go around the village and one thing I do want to mention is when they're in the village, they will not leave the village. But if you build one and it's not near a village, it may wander off. So just make sure you have it, you know, on a leash or whatever. Not a, not physically, but you know, you know what I mean. Like you make it sure it's caged in and stuff like that. As you see right here, it goes after any mob except for creepers that are even near the village because it's got to protect those villagers. That that's its number one priority. And these guys will help a lot, especially when zombie sieges come. And I'm going to be doing a video on that later today, most probably, so stick around for that. But anyway, one thing I want to mention is that these guys actually do not take fall damage, and they do not take water damage. Now, one thing, they can't swim, so although they can't drown, they will sink to the bottom and be stuck there. So you just want to watch out for that as well if you're taking them on a trip or whatever. Now, the way you can actually kill them is by suffocation or by lava. So those are the only ways, and like I said, I'll get more in detail on that when I do the Iron Golem farm. Now, say you decide to try to kill one, and then you decide, you know what, I don't want to kill this guy. Now, normally, say if it was a wolf or whatever, you would just give him some food and he'd regen his health. Well, Iron Golems can't actually regen their health with a food. What you have to do is actually splash them with a potion of regeneration or healing. So, just throwing that one out there, if you do want to make him, I guess, stronger again, you do need to get some potions and, and make them. Um, Iron Golems actually will walk over, uh, I think it's one block. They, they sort of take two blocks when they walk. Uh, so, as you see right here, he's just going after some zombies right here. This is actually a, a zombie siege I sort of implemented. As you see right here, actually, he's going to walk directly over that one block gap and not even bother or be bothered by it. But anyway, that is pretty much it with this video. Like I stated, I got more stuff coming out. We got zombie sieges. I got a tutorial on this farm. I got seed spotlight. I got a ton of different stuff coming out for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you thought it was good. And as always, it's your boy Saints Venomo. Peace.